a while back I started making and selling these adapters which are a plug-on adapter for the uh, circuitron low, low or slow speed uh, tortoise switch machine and uh, the uh, point behind this is to give you an easy plug-on option with a terminal block that allows you to connect to it without having to solder directly to it so it's a solderless connection um, uh, these have been pretty popular. We've we've sold a lot of these. Well, I've got a new product to go along with this for the DC guys that I think is pretty neat. So I want to show you that. Okay, so what I have here is a prototype uh, control board that I'm working on. Hopefully, uh, let me see if I get the light over here a little bit better. So it's a um, two-sided board essentially. This is the back side of it and this is the front side the front side we'll start with that has a double pull double throw switch on it and it has a bicolor led it will uh, light green or red okay and this this me is meant to face this direction obviously so you can operate it on the back side um normally this this little power adapter here is not normally part of this this is for my testing well, on the back side you've got two two terminal blocks that are very similar to the blocks that we use on some of our other products and then there's an uh, 8 port that is just like the adapter that was on the, that I uh, plugged into the, uh, the switch machine okay so the point behind this is this 8 pin or 8 position terminal block matches up with the terminal block on our adapter and as you see I've got a uh, just a very short uh, cable here connecting the two together and it's pin for pin so 1, 2, 3 through 8 so 1 through 8 um, I'm using some Cat5 cable here because we're only dealing with uh, low voltage uh, low current and uh, there's no data involved, no uh, digital communications of any sort. So I can get away with using this Cat5 cable. Um, really, it's up to your you know choice what you want to use. But anyways, uh, so I'm going to take this. I'm going to plug it into this uh, Tortoise switch machine. So on my adapter board, I'm going to plug in. This is a 12-volt DC adapter or uh, DC power supply. And I'm going to pull the light away a little bit so you can see the LED a little better. So you can see that it is currently red. And you can also see that the switch machine has moved. Now I'm going to flip it to this side. You saw the LED go green as well as the um, uh, switch machine has actuated correctly. Um, and I can flip it back and back and forth all day long. So, so the point here is to give um, the DC guys a really easy way to interface their tortoise switch machines to a switch panel of some sort using these modules um, gives you instant feedback now the reason that there's a delay I want you to watch you'll see the delays there's a slight delay between the switch and color and what that is is I'm actually using the single pole or the double pole double throw switch that's built inside of the switch machine to control this LED and the point of that is is that that's true feedback to let you know that this has actually actuated to one side or the other and um, that delay is actually the switch whenever you uh, whenever one of these switches is right about in the center the contacts will disconnect before they connect to the next uh, set so um, that slight delay in the middle there is the disconnect and that's happening inside the switch machine as well so again if I flip this you'll see there's a very very slight delay but um, this is a very very easy way of connecting uh, just DC voltage to your switch machine to control it without needing a DCC controller or any kind of complicated wiring. We tried to make it as simple as possible, meaning that you can buy this adapter from us, you can buy this board from us and hook it, hook up those eight connections, one, one, two, three, you know, right on through eight, connect them all together, um, and you will have a workable solution out of the box. Now, a um, couple, um, couple of neat things about this, I'm going to go ahead and unplug this really quick set this off to the side um, we have a, an additional option to make wiring even simpler so there's another one of our panels here's another one of our adapters but what you'll notice is is that I've added some adapters I have these 
I've been selling, making and selling these for years as well. This is an RJ45 8-pin RJ45 with a uh, pin header that has been soldered on, okay? And the point of that is, is this is normally used for prototyping on a breadboard, something, something like this here, where it plugs in and then you can prototype with it. But in this case, I'm, use, I'm taking advantage of the fact that this pin spacing is the same on our um, adapters. So on our adapters here, you can see that the spacing of these is, is the exact same, okay? The point of that is, is that I can now plug, I can now attach one of those RJ45 adapters to the panel. I can also do the same thing for this adapter, and now I can use a standard Cat5 Ethernet cable to connect these two together. This is not Ethernet, still just low voltage DC and low current DC, but it allows you to use a standard um, Cat5 Ethernet cable as your connection between the two the two modules. This means you can uh, install everything and then um, run standard Cat5 cables. You could uh, make them to your custom length so you don't have a bunch of excess cable underneath your layout. Uh, all those all those advantages to setting it up this way. So um, one last thing I wanted to show is this is a third. I built three of these panels so far just to uh, to test. I designed it so that it would fit inside, uh, fit through a piece of half-inch plywood. So this is half-inch plywood. Um, I I found that most guys are using this for um, building their bench work. Half-inch seems to be pretty popular. And as you can see from the side, hopefully, let me put my hand behind it there. Maybe maybe you can see it. Um, actually, maybe do this. You can see the switch and the LED both protrude out just enough. Um, so you, you have access to everything if you use the half inch plywood. I, uh, I test fitted this with three quarter. Uh, the switch protrudes just enough, but the LED doesn't. Now the LED can be mounted a little bit further um, to make that work. And, and that may be an option I might offer uh, if I start um, producing these. Um, but also keep in mind that this, this won't be just in a, oh, that's a one inch hole by the way. That's a drilled one inch hole. Um, that's not gonna be how it would uh, uh, you know, be finished off. The uh, board would be mounted to the back, and then the front would have a fascia board, much like the one we use on our uh, Cab Panel Plus. This um, black, uh, it's actually FR4 PCB material that we use to make these front panels for our uh, Cab Panel Plus units. Um, there will be a matching uh, uni uh, plate just like that that would that would go right over that, and it will be the same hole pattern so you can actually drill four holes all the way through uh, place that on uh, the front run the four screws all the way through to the back and then add nuts to the back and it would sandwich both of those together on this half inch plywood so that would be the one thing I'd recommend is uh, use it like I said using half inch if you are uh, building a layout or haven't built it yet um, this is a, this is a great way to go. Um, there would be the option to, if you had thicker material and you wanted to take it down, you could pocket the backside out with a router or something like that. But I'm trying to make this as universal as possible, so you don't have to do that. Um, a one-inch Forstner bit was perfect. Uh, I drilled that out one inch, and that was a perfect fit for for the panel. And again, this would be the back side, this would be the front side. So, Okay, uh, our video ran a little bit longer than I planned, but thanks for watching, and uh, uh, please leave me some comments and questions, and uh, I'll be posting this in uh, uh, a lot of the uh, Facebook groups as well as uh, here on uh, YouTube. So, thanks for watching.